Hi everyone, it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting a new series over here called Deconstructing Disney. So first off, let me tell you what my idea is and just hear me out. Okay, so I have a few albums specifically from Disney trips from 2013 to like 2016 where I just don't enjoy the albums, you know, and some people may love to just look through older albums and see the progress that they've made and all of that. And if that's you, that's awesome. Like, that's great. But for me, no one else looks through my albums except me. And I am the type of person that actually loves to flip through my albums. I do it quite often, especially if it's like um, approaching December daily, I'll probably flip through all my old ones. Or if I'm starting a new project life, I'll probably flip through the old ones. You know, that sort of thing. And um, with the Disney albums, I find that I just never really look through them because I really don't like them. And I don't have any type of sentimental value towards these older albums. So I thought that it would be fun to deconstruct them, take those old albums, use what I could out of them, and make something that I would enjoy a lot more. So what I decided to do was just to create out of a 12 by 12 album, basically pocket pages only, I think. Um, I'm not planning on doing any like uh, layouts or anything in here. And I found it to be super fun. I'm the most comfortable with these pockets and um you know, I just wanted to have all of my Disney memories documented in a way that I enjoy looking back on them. So I'm, I'm really excited about this project and I'm really glad that I took it on. So with these first two trips, honestly, I barely scrapbooked any of the photos. I'm not really sure what I was thinking back then, but a lot of the pictures that you see here, I actually just had to print off and I never even scrapbooked them in the original book. So I'm not really sure, but for the first trip, I had saved all of my photos on Facebook, and as I've spoken about before, I'm super bad about, um, like, keeping all my pictures organized, so I don't, like, have these photos on my computer anymore. I don't even think I had the same computer at the time, so I just went on Facebook and reprinted them, and luckily for me, they really were fine on the quality, but, um, yeah, I found all of my photos from this trip, and then also, as you saw, I took some of the Instax out of the old um, book and I also was able to read some of the journaling that I put in there so I could add in details and stuff like that from the trip. So uh, yeah, so now about the scrapbooking part. Sorry that was so long-winded, but I just wanted you to kind of know what the point of these videos are because I do plan on sharing several trips with you. So you will probably see several of these videos on my channel for a few weeks. So, um, for as far as the products and everything that I used, actually, I went through and I reprinted um, a lot of the um, in a creative bubble cards that I have previously purchased. So I knew that I had a couple Disney sets and I knew that I had some like food ones and just happy day and all that kind of stuff. So I just went through and I reprinted everything. And I think I did buy one new um, like Disney collection from in a creative bubble that I didn't already have. And then a lot of things are from my stash as well. So for this page, um, it's just a lot of pictures from a day at magic kingdom. I made Will wear his Mickey ears and he's such a good sport always. So I like cherish these pictures cause he does not wear ears, uh, around the park. I bought him one Mickey hat and he has, um, very sweetly put that on for me during most of our trips at some point secretly, for photos only. So I appreciate it. But um, if you see all of the cute little ephemera and these adorable stamps that I used on this card, those are all from Social Paper Plan and I will definitely link them below their Instagram. A really awesome shop and I have just adored every single thing that I've bought from them and they've really made this project even more fun having super cute ephemera and stamps to work with. So um, if you are a Disney lover, definitely go and check them out. So Sorry, this is so uh, up close and personal there, but I did get some new 
um, like tape for my Dymo label maker on Amazon. So I got like pink and yellow and some cute colors. So I had fun just kind of adding in little bits to all of my spreads there. And then I, of course, have to sprinkle on a few um, enamel dots and washi tape and added a few cute things just to make the page come together. But, um, yeah, I just, I love even just looking at these pictures right now. I'm just so excited. And I've already flipped through this album like several times so far. And it's been super fun kind of reliving these memories and seeing like what we did um, on the first trip and what we did on later trips. And it's just been a great time. So I hope I have some Disney lovers out there who will be interested in following along with me um, while I kind of document all these older memories. So I'm not one that really documents a lot of older things. Like typically I have things scrapbooked just like these. They were technically scrapbooked. It just wasn't in a way that was really like speaking to me at this point in my life, you know, and if I'm going to use up the space on my shelves and all that kind of thing, I would rather just really love it. So this is how the first page um, turned out. I didn't do my journaling on camera for some reason, but you'll see it later. <laughs> and then here's the second page. So this is the same day um, at the Magic Kingdom. So for our first trips and actually for a lot of our trips to Disney, um, they've been kind of shorter trips actually. So for these first couple with Will, we only went like for a long weekend actually. So um, there, I don't have a ton to document, but you know how it is at Disney, you take a million photos. So I still have a lot to, uh, to say and a lot to document here, but this is more kind of the just Magic Kingdom day. We went and ate at Cinderella's Royal Table. If you haven't done that before and you want like a fun character dining experience, it is the best. You get to meet a lot of the princesses and it's just super fun. So this particular year was the first time that I'd ever like eaten in the castle or anything and I'd never done character dining or anything. So for anyone who cares, here's my Disney story. So whenever I was about 10, I, me and my mom went to the Magic Kingdom just for a day and whenever we were actually visiting family in Orlando. So it was kind of like we weren't there just for Disney. But um, then, uh, so that was like my only real experience with with like Disney World as a child. And it was amazing, you know. And then I didn't go again until I was an adult. And me and my mom and one of my older friends, we went a couple times in like 2009 and 10, I think. So then it wasn't until 2013, this trip, that I really got crazy about the Disney parks. And besides 2020, of course, I've been every year since. But like I say, some of my trips are shorter and things like that. But I like to get my Disney fix in every year. So it's really fun to kind of go through each year and have them all in one large album and just be able to like kind of flip through all of the different trips. I've really been enjoying that. But yeah, so um, Cinderella's Royal Table. Anyway, I cut myself off. Y'all know how it is. Whenever I get to talking about Disney, I mean, I can talk about it forever. But um, it's really fun. And so a lot of these pictures are documenting that and documenting kind of fantasy land kind of vibes here. And for a lot of the years, I've gone around my birthday in October. So you might see some Halloween kind of themed things. And um, that is what the little cupcake is. So Disney always does it big. And if you tell them it's your birthday or anything, they will make sure to like celebrate with you, which is really fun. So I had to document all those types of things. This large, beautiful uh, pair of Mickey ears right there is also from Social Paper Plan. And then I'm just, you know, adding a few embellishments to decorate. I love the inner creative bubble cards. I just think it's so cool whenever you have cards that are so specific to the trips. And so it's really fun um, having cards that say like magical and that one at the bottom that says fun really big. Um, that one actually has a quote from Walt Disney on it. So just really cute. And like I said, I mixed and matched a few other um in a creative bubble collections, like the birthday collection, I knew that I could kind of sprinkle those throughout because so many trips I have gone on my birthday. So love that. But, um, yeah. So then also, of course we had to get pictures by the beautiful topiaries. You can see those and see those pictures. I didn't have documented either. So I don't know what was going through my mind back then, but I'm really happy to have like all of these pictures and, 
I did, like I said before, save them from Facebook. So some of them, the quality may not be the best, but honestly, for the three by fours, I really couldn't tell. And if they seemed like they might have been a little blurry, I just printed them off a little smaller. And I found that that was a nice way to actually add a lot of pictures in was um, like the, all the food pictures there in the middle. Those are actually printed off at a two by three size. So I could stack them to fill in three by four card. So, and then for this card, of course, if there's a circle, I'm going to write around it. So I wrote about LeFou's Brew, which of course is at Gaston's Tavern and it's delicious. And I always have to get it every time I'm there. So here are a few up close of that one. And we're just trucking along. We're going to continue. And for this one, unfortunately, the front side of this um, insert got cut off in some way. But for these, I really am just adding a few really simple things. There's not much going on here. But I did have a photo booth picture. So I decided to just cut it in half. And in the pocket, it will still look like the full photo, you know. So I um, added that and I'll add that right into the pocket. And then I have a photo of the Nutella waffle sandwich at the bottom, which was something that I used to love to eat. So you may notice some of these things aren't vegan and that's because I was not vegan at the time. But um, yeah, so of course I had to document that. And then I think I'm just going to make like a little filler card. So yeah, I love these like the Disney soda and the Disney Starbucks, two of my must haves every time I'm there. So I mean... Social paper plan has just really hit it out of the park with these embellishments as far as I'm concerned and I had such a blast using them so I really like this little setup here and then the picture at the top was actually of um, the dinosaur at Dino Land so that kind of is the cue that the next things we will be documenting will be um, Animal Kingdom which was our second day. So as you could see on the front side of that, I was kind of pointing out I had changed that card a little bit. And um, if you are familiar with Disney and Epcot, you'll know that that character is Figment, who I love personally. So I was really excited to have that Figment um, little ephemera piece. And then we're going to move on to the last page for this trip, which is our Animal Kingdom day. And we did kind of finish off our night at the Magic Kingdom, which I'll talk about as we go. But um, I didn't really use my stamps from Social Paper Plan as much as I, I wanted to. Um, so I'm going to try to do that here in the future. But there was the Tree of Life from, the, from Animal Kingdom on the stamp. So, of course, I had to use that. So I just stamped it out on some white paper. And I'm going to use it like an embellishment here on one of the cards. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I love having things like that that are like really personal to your photos and the Disney photos and everything. So I thought that that was pretty fun. So I'm just adding a few embellishments. I think I add a few, yeah, little hearts here to this card as well. And um, I love sprinkling those kind of things around. And then once again, um, I'll tell you about our day. So I hope that you enjoy this. I hope you're interested in hearing about our Disney day. But I don't know. Question. I mean, when you're watching videos, do you like to just hear the process or do you like to hear about the person and what they're up to like for me I love hearing about like the person's day and everything I mean yeah if the process is necessary I'll talk about it but I mean I feel like you guys know what I'm doing right here with slapping this stuff on but for me the most fun part about all of this is just watching someone scrap and kind of hearing about their life and experiences and stuff so I hope that you all do enjoy that part of my videos because I feel like I do that like a lot <laughs> But um, yeah, so our um, Animal Kingdom Day, you'll see I just have kind of your typical, uh, you know, touristy photos in front of everything around in Disney, um, like Expedition Everest and other just beautiful parts of um, the park. And then my favorite ride, probably y'all, one of my favorite rides out of all the parks is Dinosaur. And I love the kind of like corny, um, just throwback feel of that ride and that's about as thrill ride as I get so I have a lot of fun but if you look at that picture it's hilarious because Will is like screaming about a dinosaur and that's jumping out at us and I am like hanging my head in straight fear so it's just very funny to me but um yeah and then at the bottom you'll see I have pictures of our food and also pictures with the beast so we were able to go eat at um 
be our guest restaurant at the Magic Kingdom. So that was really special and um, just such an amazing memory. I've been there a few times since, but um, just super fun. So, so I'm just really happy that I've been able to document so many of those memories again in a way that's more meaningful to me. And it's just been really fun process to relive some of these fun moments. So I hope that you're enjoying this new series. And just like that, we've knocked out 2013. And if you did enjoy this, please give me a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys again in another episode of Deconstructing Disney.